Hey guys and welcome to this video, today I wanna show you the text behind person effect. So first of all you have to mask out your person. You can do this inside of DaVinci Resolve with the magic mask or you can go to runwayml.com. This website is totally free and if you don't know how to mask out a person in runway then you have to watch this video. So after you've downloaded your rotoscoped clip you only need to import your clip into the timeline. Now go with this clip selected into fusion. Press shift and space by the same time and search for delta key. Select delta key and press add. Then go to the background color. Click on pick screen color and select the green screen. Now hit the ok button. I also recommend that you use a shadow outline. So again press shift and space by the same time. And search for shadow. Select shadow and press add. Now change the shadow color from black to white. Hit the ok button. And increase the softness a little bit. Alright, now go back into the edit page. Okay, now drag the upper clip to the right and go with this clip into Fusion. Press Shift and Space by the same time and search for Planar Tracker. Select Planar Tracker and press Add. Now you have to zoom into your footage and draw a mask around the person's head. Now go with the Planar Tracker node selected into the Inspector, click on the Z button and change the tracker from point to hybrid point slash area. Okay, now you only have to change the motion type from perspective to translation. And then you have to hit this button. Alright, now the motion of our person's head should be tracked. Now hit this create planar transform button. And then you can go down here and delete this node. And we could do this because the data of our motion is saved in this node. Alright, now drag and drop a text plus node into the node field. Now connect the text plus node with the media in one node. Again, select the text plus node and change the text to your liking. After you've done this, go to shading and change the type from solid to gradient. Also change the colors to your liking. Okay, now go to element 3 and enable the black shadow. Then go back to the node field and press shift and space by the same time. Search for soft glow. Select soft glow and press add. Then go into the inspector and decrease the gain a little bit. Okay, now go back into the node field and again press shift and space by the same time. Search for light rays. Select light rays and press add. Now select the alpha limits effect box. And after you've done this, you can play around with these sliders. Alright, now the text looks like this. Now add the planar transform node between the light rays node and the merge one node. And now we can see that the text sticks to the movement of our head. Now again press shift and space by the same time and search for waviness. Select waviness and press add. Now change the waviness type from vertical to horizontal. Then you only have to change the scale to 15. And decrease the strength to your liking. Alright, now again press shift and space by the same time and search for trails. Select trails and press add. Now go into the inspector and decrease the gain to 0.5. And now you can see this is the trails effect, so the text is moving. Okay, now go back into the node field and add a transform node between the text plus node and the soft glow node. Now change the size and the position of your text to your liking. Okay, after you've done this, go to your first frame, create a keyframe at the center x and center y values and decrease the center y value so that you no longer see this text. Now go 8 or 10 frames to the right. And then you have to increase the center y value so that you see the text right in front of your person. Okay, now go to the end of your clip. Again, create a keyframe at the center x and center y values and go 8 to 10 frames to the right. And again, decrease the center y value so that you no longer see the text. After you have done this, open the spline tab. Now select the keyframes of your both animations and press Alt and S at the same time to smooth out your animations. Okay, now go back into the edit page. Drag the rotoscope clip to the left and now the effect is done. I hope this video has helped you. If so, then leave a like or a sub to my channel. Go watch one of these two videos right here. Use my affiliate links in the description. And thanks for your attention. Stay creative and bye.